All right, this week we are in Southern California to build a creek for one of my subscribers. So we actually flew out here Sunday afternoon. We're living in a cabin on his property and we are installing a creek with a little bit of a pond play area. And I have a couple of days to do it and I'm super excited. All right, so this is Sam. Sam is the guy that's hired me to come down here and build this. We're trying to interpret his vision into an actual project here. So the plan is to pull water out of this natural spring that goes beside his property. We're pulling water out of that to pump it from the top down to extend this so that they can see it from the cabin here. And you were saying that you want a beach here? Yeah, uh, maybe some, uh, an area where kids can play, a shallower, shallower area. So starting at the top, he's already dug out for a little bit of a shallow pond, or kind of a knee deep section you can sit down in. That pond will then funnel into a bit of a stream down to a very short waterfall into where he wants the beach. So he ordered a bunch of sand. This whole middle section is gonna be cut out for a shallow beach section for kids to play in. That will then lead to another waterfall followed by some rapids that take the water back down into the spring we pulled it from. We also decided at the top where the water initially enters the feature, we might as well put a waterfall there too. Back and have a rock here and have the pipe come in right here and then the, the you see the water flow over the top of the rock. Can we do that? Can we do that? Yeah. You, you need, we need to get a couple flat rocks, all right? So he already dug this trench where he wants the water to flow, which got a lot of the digging done, which is the hard part for me, so I appreciate that. What we're gonna do now is within this trench, we're gonna shape where I wanna set rock, so we're gonna do some ledges and fill in some spaces and dig out a few spaces and just kind of sculpt the land before we put the liner down so that when I'm ready to set rock, I have a better idea of where I can put things. So since we're pulling water from a natural source, I made sure we got a pump, a liner, and the foam that was safe for a fish and it will all be contained in his yard so it won't be washing into the stream, I'll make sure of that. trying to stack these up as closely together, kind of like a puzzle, so that these curves fit together so I don't have any huge gaps. That way they're stable and look like they're here organically. Because if, you know, if I set this one like that, I don't know, this gap just looks funny to me. So I'm trying to find rocks that fit together. Then I can foam in from the back side. So I got a, rock here, I'm gonna set another rock here, and then some behind it, and I'm gonna be able to lift the liner and backfill, and then our pipe is gonna come in here, where we don't see it behind the rocks, and hopefully we can get this bubbling effect that will then flow over this. It's a process.
All right, so we don't have it running at the moment because we needed to get a larger pipe from the pump to the top, so that's on its way here. The waterfalls are done, and we are making a lot of the final touches to cover the liner. And you guys know the drill. We're doing river rock from the inside out, starting with the big rocks we set in, and then the medium-sized rocks, and then we're gonna cover that with pebbles and sand. And then wherever there is excess liner showing, we were using the soil we dug out to bring it into the liner and cover the liner and make it all look like an even landscape. All right, so I'm still setting all these big rocks around the pond at the top and along the edge of the creek, but our pipe showed up. So I'm gonna hook up our pipe and get it running so that we can start getting this sand to settle and spread out. And I'm gonna hose off some areas. We should have this thing just about done today. asked if we could have a spot to set the picnic table over the creek so that when they eat out here, they can have their feet in the creek. And so this is like the last thing we're doing out here for this, is setting this table in place for him. Okay, so when I lift this, stick that rock under there and set it up and like wiggle it in place. Okay. All right, so as I'm wrapping this up, if you guys like this project, if you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. I got all kinds of other videos on there and more projects to come. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.